What is it that you dream of? What is the one thing you think about every single day? I always dreamed of traveling and exploring. A year ago, I grabbed my best friend and we decided to travel across Europe. <laughs> we picked a handful of places that we wanted to see and set off on our way. Otrok. We wanted to disconnect from everyday life and find a new perspective. Bicycles allowed us to slow down and really experience what the country has to offer. To Omega, what's right now? We forgot about the things that seemed so important to us just a few weeks ago. It was a break from social media, emails, and the fear of not pursuing of our careers. We went as fast or as slow as we wanted. <laughs> After a few days, living off our bicycles became normal. Every morning we would wake up not knowing where we're going to sleep, eat, or even go to the toilet. Our goal was simple, cycle 70 kilometers, experience whatever the world has to offer, put up a tent, cook pasta, and talk until one of us would fall asleep. We watched the world go by and appreciated our place in it. The most beautiful and breathtaking moments of our trip were those of silence, completely immersed in pedaling across the landscape. The further we traveled away from cities, the freer we felt. The roads were empty and full of characters. A lot of times we didn't even have roads. Whenever we came to an obstacle, we had no other option but to overcome it. Every hill we climbed was worth it once we reached the top and saw the view. When they refused to take our bicycles on a train to get out of Paris, we sat down and talked through our options. When a camping ground refused to let us in, we cycled through the night until we found a place to sleep. When our bicycles started to fall apart, we stitched them back together and hoped that they would last us for the remainder of the trip. All these problems seemed so petty when we visited the countless war memorials along our route. Seeing the D-Day cemeteries made us wonder what the men would think of our journey and the way we live nowadays. Most of them were our age or even younger. Each night we laid in our tent, grateful for the things we saw and excited about the things we were going to see. Travel opened us up to the world and made us appreciate the importance of nature and culture. Our families and TV would have us believe that the second you come into a city or a country, there would be terrorists waiting for you. They couldn't be further from the truth. People would much rather help you than hurt you. We connected with people that we would have never met if it wasn't for our trip. We stayed with people like Bill and helped them with their daily chores and struggles and made some unforgettable memories from it. We talked to countless strangers and bonded over a communal love of cycling. We shared an underpass with drunken fellows and a couple bottles of beer. This journey was everything that I fantasized about and more. Sure, some days sucked and we felt that everything was going against us. But the sun rose up and we were glad that we stuck with it. We created memories that will stick with us for the rest of our lives and hopefully influence a few others along the way. Head out and do whatever it is you dream of. You will have the time of your life and you will wonder why you didn't do it any sooner. Tot je na jeba.